What's going on guys? It's your boy Sakilis bringing you another IRL video. Today we are going to be taking apart my computer and installing some new RAM. So I'm going to show you what that looks like right now. Alright guys, so our RAM just came in the mail. I, j I was just talking to the mailman. So we got our HyperX Fury. This is 8 gigs of RAM. Uh, and we're going to add it to my computer right here. So we're going to strip this thing down, take it apart. And I will show you guys what that looks like as soon as we get that done. Oh, but first let me uh, unpackage this and show you what it looks like. Uh, in case you've never seen this RAM. This is 240 uh, pin RAM. I think it's 1866. What is it? It is um, for the actual speed. Yeah, 1866 for, uh, speed for the RAM. Uh, which is actually, I think, the fastest you can get. Uh, yeah. Alright guys, so this is what the RAM actually looks like when you take it out. Uh, I'll flip it over for you so you can see. Uh, see some specs right here. Focus. There we go. Uh, kit 1 of 2, 1 1.5 volts, made in Taiwan, HyperX Blue RAM. So we're going to put that in, and I'll show you when my computer is disassembled. Alright boys, so I've successfully taken out all the screws, so now all we got to do is take this, pull it up, and it reveals um, basically my whole computer. I'm working on my bed right now because I don't really have a set workstation you guys can see what we have here we have the one terabyte uh, Seagate Barracuda hard drive I think it's 7200 RPM um, we have our uh, wait what do we have here oh here's our disk drive and basically here's our my fan I had to actually fix that there was a lot of problems um, here's the, uh, uh, the heat sink right here it dissipates the heat while the fan blows it away had to fix this the other day it was a pretty big pain and what we need to get to is all under here I have my GPU in here, my CPU, my PCI Express, uh, and my RAM slots. So I will come back to you guys when I have all of these screws popped off, and we will venture into that world, okay? See you there. Alright, so we finally popped this bad boy off, and here's the RAM slots. You can see I only have two. Took out the stupid Dell ones, and we're going to pop in some nice, fresh Hyper Fury X. Ouch. Oh. As you see, my setup's kind of a mess when I don't have stuff here, just a lot of wires. But uh, yeah, I'm going to put these into there and I'll show you when I'm done because it's going to be very difficult to do it one-handed. Alright boys, we finally installed it as you can see. Let's get focus, focus, there we go. Uh, this was a huge pain to install, I'm not even exaggerating. The slots on this computer are horrible. They literally, uh, I had to almost force them in, and I did make sure they were facing the right way. That's not the issue. It's just uh, these aren't like the nice ones that you'd find on a really uh, sweet Asus motherboard. You, I legitimately had to force these down and um, clamp them so they would stay in or it would pop out. These things are pieces of crap, so I can't wait to get rid of that. But we got some HyperX RAM in there. I'm going to close it up and see if she boots up. If not, we have some problems that we're going to have to figure something out so uh, I'll catch you guys afterwards alright guys so I tried to boot her up earlier and it wasn't working she wasn't booting all the way so I don't know what happened there but okay so I think we might have found the problem um, and I'll hit you guys up when I figure it out alright guys so I finally got it all set up I got the new RAM in and it's running like a champ uh, I also downloaded Minecraft and Counter-Strike Global Offense so you guys are going to be seeing me play some of that. Uh, it's going to be pretty awesome. I have a lot of good ideas. I might start a Minecraft server and do a series with a couple of my friends. Have some fun. And uh, I think tomorrow I'm going to bring you guys a quick setup video because I really did change things and my room is looking pretty nice. So I hope you guys appreciate that. And um, I can't wait to show you guys some other stuff. I am also going to be doing a review of my scuff controller because I haven't done one of that. My blue Yeti, uh, my blue Snowball microphone, and my Logitech C1, uh, C920, because they've all been a really good help. Oh, and also my Elgato HD60. I'll kind of give you a brief little see how I got all these wires back here, but you guys can see I got a little setup going right here. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna do some more reviews. I feel like you guys appreciate that a lot, and I hope to see you guys later. So uh, please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. And as always, guys, this has been your boy Achilles. Signing out. Peace.